And Yay! we're back. Welcome to this episode of Rad BMX Builds. We are in the shop today. We got some stuff to do and I thought I would take you along with me and give you a vlog style of what I'm doing on my day-to-day -day stuff here in Newport Beach, California. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm sure it's amazing on the beach, but I got some stuff going on in the shop that I want to share with you. Okay, first up, I thought I would give you a short little tour of the shop. Okay, let's start this tour off with bikes that I currently have here in the shop in Newport Beach. First one right behind me is my brand new addition to the collection, a 1990 Dino Detour in Chrome. This bike is 100% OG. Let's check it out. The chrome is actually in really good shape. It's just been lightly cleaned up a little bit. The decals are great, just a few little nicks here and there, but I mean, this bike is pretty old. You know, it's a 1990, so it should have some wear and tear on it. The seat's actually in amazing condition. You can see the original GT tires definitely have some dry rot, and there's a few little things that are rusted, like the ends of the pedals. Those can be fixed, no big deal. But one of my favorites are the Gen 2 Chrome fork standers, the GT, that have the stamp on them. Those are my favorite, along with the Odyssey brakes. Next over here, now I'm not gonna go over all these bikes in great detail, but this is a 1986 Schwinn Predator Freeform Z with the Schwinn Yo front brake, with the array of wheels. This is a beautiful bike. And then my 1985 Malibu Mint Mongoose M1. This is gorgeous, love this bike so much. Beautiful bike. 83 PK Ripper, baby blue and gold iconic SE colors. Love this bike too. 85 Redline 500B with the brand new Flight Splatter paint pads, which match my Tioga disc and my mushroom bearing cap on that side. And then the 40th anniversary Kuahara ET bike, which I just recently added. My 26 inch custom built gold and blue race ink with Botima forks and Profile Racing Elite Hubs, Rhino Light Wheels. This bike's got a lot of really cool parts and pieces on it. Uh, didn't spare any expense on this bike, I really like it. And then the 26 inch pink race ink bike, absolutely flooded with Cook Brothers parts, lever, headset, Cook Brothers cranks, and then Cook Brothers seat post, but then it has night bike parts as well. Seat post clamp, power disc, stem. So a really cool bike. Now up here is the next thing I'm gonna build. This is going to be a full race collaboration between Race Inc. and Night Bike Company bike build. It's gonna have the CW style bars, night bike, starfighter, sprocket, night bike stem, night bike, seat post clamp and it'll have the night bike ufo bottom bracket in gold as well and then a few other stuff i got laying around in the shop these are going to be going on to the pk ripper this was the painting painted by damian fulton the artist of radical rick personally for me which was really rad i did a video on that these are some parts and pieces going on a quad angle i have these are parts and pieces going on a 1988 Mach 1 that I have coming. And I got a ton of tires and stuff sitting over here in the corner. Some landing gear forks, bunch of parts, a gazillions, pairs of handlebars, some discs. And then to show you a little bit more, these are all parts in boxes. So they're all pretty much grouped together. Basically pedals and Donuts and grips and brakes and pegs and stems and just a bunch of stuff This is a quad angle sitting in that box This is mannequin Mike the shop mannequin standing guard over everything so This is kind of my workspace. This is where I put all my wheels and 
Even got some really sick Monza seats. These are Alina seats that Monza came out, did a limited run on. And if you haven't seen these, you really need to go check them out. They're only $89 on Monza's website. And they sent these to me to kind of show to you so you can take a look at them. They're pretty amazing. And these are takeoffs, 24 inch skyways. I have no use for them, but they're there. And then these wheels are going on to that black race ink build right down there. And I got some overhead storage stuff up here too. So there you have it. That's the shop here in Newport Beach where I do a lot of my filming and building. So you've seen this area, you should be pretty familiar with it. But I think what I'm going to work on today is these two bikes right here. The PK Ripper and the 500B. We're going to do a crank swap on both of these bikes. The red line is going to get the ones, the red line flights that are on the PK Ripper. And the PK Ripper is going to get those gold ones that were up there. So I'm going to swap those out today and then show you what they look like. We'll do a before and we'll do an after. So I got to pull these bikes out, make some space to work on them, and then film it for you. And then you let me know what you think. Okay, here is what the current situation is on the red line. It does have a Tioga power disc and a 44 tooth black chain ring, but it's currently using one piece cranks with a black MKS pedal. The PK Ripper, however, has a pro neck power disc, also a 44 tooth. Maybe it's a 42 tooth, I'd have to look. But it has these beautiful chrome red line flight cranks with the blue decal and then the silver MKS pedals. So I'm going to take these crank arms and pedals and put them onto this power disc and chain ring on this bike. Then I'll take the gold crank set. Let me see if I can get this out of here. That I have up here. And we're going to put it on the PK Ripper. I just think it's going to look, let me see, a little bit better. I think the golds match a little bit better. I love the Pro Neck. It's just a darker gold and everything on this PK Ripper is lighter gold. So I'm going to take this and put it on here. Then I'm going to take this arm and pedal and put it on there. So I think we'll start with the red line and pull this off and then we'll come over to the PK Ripper, take this off and put it on the red line. Let's get busy. Okay, here it is, the Tioga disc chain ring and red line flight three piece cranks and the MKS pedals in chrome. So what do you think of that transformation? Do you like the three piece or did you like the one piece? Three piece flight cranks are always pretty rad, especially if you can put them on a red line. And the color of the decal is a little bit darker than the chain ring, but overall I like it. It gives the bike a little higher quality look. And comment down below what you think about the pedal crank upgrade to the red line. And we're gonna put on this crank set, which has sealed gold cups, bearings. And we're gonna put those on and see what that looks like. I already know what it looks like because it used to be on there. And if you remember older photos of this bike, you saw that. So let's go ahead and start on that and I'll show you when we're done. Okay, we're all done. I got the crank swapped out, put the gold ones on the PK Ripper, and I'm really happy with it. I just wanna show you a few things. I had a little bit of difficulty with the gold chain that I used to have on the PK Ripper. It was always about a link too short. And when I put this on, I think, like I said before, that other chain ring was a 42. And I think this one's a 44. So I had to ditch my gold chain and go with the silver one, but I had one laying around that I took off another bike. So no big deal. So I did have to swap out a chain. Now all the bearing cups and everything went in really well. I had a hard time getting the red line ones out because like I said, I think those were originals. But these are in and I know you wanna see them. So let's go to the PK Ripper first and take a look at these cranks. 
And I just think the colors look really good with the wheels. You can see them how they match. Pedals, cranks, chain ring. You can see the new chain, nice silver one. But when you stand back and look, those colors are just the right shade of gold. And gold is always a hard one to match up. So if you look at the pro neck clamp and the pro neck stem, that is a different shade. I do have another stem and clamp that are a little closer to this color and I think that'll be another thing that I swap out, but that's gonna be a little bit later. Let's go take a look at the red line again. And now that you see that, tell me what you think about the swaps that we did on the red line and on the PK Ripper. And tell me, do you like it? Comment down below, tell me what you think about the swap. Okay, that's gonna do it for here in the garage. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is just kind of what I do in my afternoons, working on some bikes, swapping out some parts. I'm pretty happy with the way the Red Line and the PK Ripper came out. If you are too, give me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. That thumbs up tells it, uh, YouTube that you liked this video and it'll help promote it and that helps me so much. So thank you very much for doing that. Now, if you haven't, huge, please subscribe. I need these subscribers to keep this channel going. Without you, this channel's dead. So I appreciate those that have already subscribed. And if you haven't, it doesn't cost you anything. Just click it, I appreciate you. And merch if you want some, radbmxbuilds.com slash merch. So that's gonna do it. Until the next time, and as always, stay rad.